What's going on guys? My name's Jakob, right next to me is Shan. Welcome back to another video and indeed to part two of Birmingham's most Instagrammable places. Now, in our first video in the comments, we've seen that some of you guys said we missed out a little bit and, and yeah. we said that we, we couldn't get round to all of the cool places in one video. So we said we'd make a part two to that video and here we go. So indeed to begin with, straight away we are in our first spot now if you know Digbeth if you are familiar with Birmingham you'll know it's a bit of a chic it's a bit of a cool place it's got a bit of a reputation for one of the most kind of urban areas coming up in and around Birmingham now we've got a lot of different graffiti cool places all around Digbeth but this place in particular is one of our favorites I think and it's Floodgate Street so let's spin around here we've got plenty of really cool really nice graffiti walls all around the the kind of main street all around here but and this is where we're going now we've got this little alcove kind of under the railway bridge area and look at this this is awesome it's got a lot of cool different graffiti if you wanted to take a picture shoot a video um, have a photo shoot done this is one of the coolest areas I think all around the city to do so so like I was saying in addition to this area that you have here you can also walk up there and go straight to the custard factory so this is a really cool central area um, and we'll pop all the places down in the description as well so you know where they are but let's go to number two So just like that and through the power of the edit we find ourselves in place number two and I've already mentioned in place number one it's very close and it is indeed the custard factory now we are standing kind of next to the main courtyard we've got a lovely NHS graffiti here and this lovely lovely big sculpture and it's called the Green Man, as you see on the plaque right here. Now, usually, right behind us here where the shutter is unfortunately closed at the moment, we'd be able to go through straight into the main courtyard. There used to be a fountain there, I don't think that exists anymore, but there are a lot of cool places to um, have a drink, eat, etc. They have the vintage club shows and stuff there yes, as well. Yes, they do. But which we go to quite regularly quite regularly and once they reopen that will be another video that we will make but um as an aside from that there are still a lot of cool places to come and take photos around here as uh, we've mentioned before so there are some graffiti pieces down where we're heading to towards at the moment um there are stickered up signs which are quite cool and, and quite uh i don't know quite interesting i suppose to have as a backdrop maybe ghetto golf is just down the road from here as well and we have all these little independent shops here we've got the fountain and there's some big graffiti right on this building as well so again a lot of different interesting things to to see um, a lot of places to take photos etc so it's another one of our our little um interesting cool favorite finds i suppose for for this this so it's a lot better whenever it's more open so we'll show you that one day oh for sure okay let's move on to place number three let's not waste any time okay and just like that once again we are back with place number three and as you can see behind us it's quite a substantial building it is of course the millennium point now it's very in very close proximity to the university and all this building work going on here is going to be the brand new Curzon station 
for HS2 opening in like 2026 or something like that. So what makes this Instagrammable? Now you've got the views behind us here. We're standing on these kind of steps here. You can go further down. There's a lot of greenery down there. There's some cool, um, as I said, building backdrops, etc. There is also this lovely view in the distance of the city centre. So we've got the Boring there, the Rotunda, even um, was that Rodison Hotel? Yeah. So that's that's you know it's a really good central place to to see a lot from here, uh, and you've got some of the old mixed in as well with that pub and the original building of Curzon Station there in the background also. Now, um, again, it's in very close proximity to the city centre, so you can walk here really easily from that, uh, the city centre. Uh, and it's just an overall nice open area to uh, do a lot of photo shoots, video shoots, etc. if you so wish to do. But yeah, that's our place number three. Let us know if you agree, let us know if you don't. Anything is much appreciated in the comments. And let's move on to Place number four. This is Cathedral Square, better known if you live in Birmingham as Pigeon Park. And behind us is St. Philip's Church. Kind of see it in there. So again, this is a nice green, uh, kind of fast open space, lovely old fashioned church in the background. Again, really nice backdrop. Uh, you've got the modern kind of city buildings all the way around you as well. So that's our place number four. four. This one is Great Western Arcade. Just to the side of the Literally park that we just 30 showed seconds you. walk from Pigeon Park. Yeah, so it's got a very old fashioned look about it. Like what you normally see in the street of an old fashioned village. Let's show you. It's very cool. It's got this nice blue colour up the yeah. walls and then this nice floor. This would take some very nice Instagram pictures for sure. Because sure, it's very, it's got the old fashioned nice it's got, background. If, if you look at it like straight on, it's got a very like symmetrical kind of background that's really cool. We'll and it will definitely that. make some nice photos and as well as that if you if when the shop shops open obviously it's got a, a lot of nice independent retailers so yeah. it's a lot to choose from here let's show you the symmetrical there you go so we're stood in the middle now very cool and it's just literally the same um let me just show you this restaurant if you're vegan I'm not, but I've heard a lot of good things about this restaurant because my sister Very bangs good. on about it, so definitely go try that out. So that was place number five on our list. I think one there's more to go. one or two. One or two. One or two. We'll Some see. Something like that. We'll, we'll show you. Well, you'll find we'll out. Find out. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So we've done a fair bit of walking today, that's why we're sat down, but also we're sat down for another reason, and that being we're at our final stop for today and that being the I don't know if you can see this very clearly the Black Sabbath bridge so this is a bridge just over Broad Street dedicated to the band obviously Black Sabbath who are who originated in Birmingham who are from Birmingham it's got this nice Lovely new bench with all the members on there. Geez, Rosy, Tony, and who's the last one? Bill. And if you look from this angle, it looks right over the uh, kind of main city centre canal. And it's just a really nice spot with a really nice backdrop. You can sit down, you can stand up, you can do whatever you like. And it's right on Broad Street, so when we're back open, when we're back to normal, you can come here and have a drink afterwards as well. We wish we could do that right now, to be honest, but obviously we can't, so. So I think with that one, our part two to the most Instagrammable places in Birmingham is done. Uh, again, we've exhausted quite a lot of the ones we could think of, but if you can think of any more, let us know in the comments, and who knows if we have enough, we'll do a part three. We're probably going to do a part three more so of out of the city centre yeah. of Birmingham. Yeah. So like more, just like around smaller places rather than yeah. the big 
Yeah, yeah we, we, well, I think we've covered kind of the main pieces of, of the city centre and, and kind of the immediate areas, but yeah, we'll, we'll try and branch out a little bit more. Uh, but if you guys can suggest anything else, as I said, let us know in the comments and we'll try and incorporate that as well. But with that being said, I think that will do it for this video. We'll go and enjoy some food now because we're absolutely starving and our legs are aching because we've done so much walking. Say bye to Tony. There he is. He's and Ozzy. Like... Where's Ozzy? Ozzy's right here. Look at him in his young, yeah, young form of glory. chilling in the background. <laughs> but like yeah. Tony's our friend. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be. So, bye-bye.